there are two types of 400-meter <laughs> runners out there. Okay, I'm with you. Okay, I'm with you. There, I'll tell you when I'm out. Era. There's always, like, there's, okay, so we go through eras, right? We have yeah. eras, like, an era is, like, a six-year run, right? Okay, I'm with you. Good, we're good. We're on track. And a low percent of that, of we have an era. There's a very small percentage that are, that are LaShawn Merritt. And LaShawn Merritt right. is like, I'm a stud. I'm going to make a world final. I can medal any given year. I just show up and I am great, right? And yep. then the other type, in my mind, I think like, are you a LaShawn Merritt 400 meter runner? Or mm -hmm. are you a Tony McQuay? To me, the Tony McQuay is I can run 44 seconds. I can be, give you a good four by four split, but I'm not going to win a medal. You know, so I look at our current field. People thought Michael Norman was a LaShawn Merritt, but Norman might be becoming more of a Tony McQuay. Michael Cherry, he's still a Tony McQuay in my mind. Maybe he becomes a LaShawn Merritt, but he's still a Tony McQuay. Noah Williams, Bryce Dedman, Trevor Stewart, they're all Tony McQuays. Randolph Ross right now, I'm leaning towards LaShawn. He's a LaShawn Merritt, but we'll see. Fred Curley. He's a unicorn, so I'm not going to categorize him because he's abandoned the 400. You know, you yeah. go on and on, like Vernon Norwood. That's a Tony McQuay. Tony mm. McQuay, it's the, I'm a star 400-meter runner. I ran well in college. I'm good enough to finish top six in the, hundred, in the, in the 400 at USA's, but I'm not yeah. a LaShawn Merritt where I'm like the guy. So that's what I was going to say. So this is the thing that you're are saying. Are you a LaShawn you Merritt or are you a Tony McQuay? Yeah. So are you talking about this in terms of longevity or the height of their peak? I'm talking about, no, because height of, no, I'm talking about just like longevity. Yeah, longevity. Mm -hmm. I don't even know I'm talking about longevity or height. I'm, I'm just talking, I'm not talking about width or length. I'm just talking about, are you a 400 meter runner that is like, a four, are you a four by four guy or are you a meddler? You know, are you a four by four guy or are you a meddler? Are all your medals from the four by four or all your medals from the individual 400? Okay. And like, that's how you separate, like, that's how you separate it. I mean, this isn't the craziest thing you said. I don't know why you were reluctant to say it. Um, I was like, why am I bringing up Tony McQuay in 2022? And I was like, all right, what, I don't need to use this analogy. You're, you're basically saying there's, there's a group of, I mean, you, and listen, this probably happens with a lot of different events, but we're just focusing on the, focusing on the 400 right now. There's a collegiate star, you know, and you can make teams when you're in college in the 400. I don't know what the, someone can run the numbers on it, right? What's the, what's the event where the most collegians make the team? It's, it's probably the quarter, number one, because you can get on the four by four yeah. pool. And, and number two, we just know 400-meter runners seem to hit their peak earlier than other runners. Maybe um, it's because they're just running a, a ton of 400s. It maybe it has to do with body type and development. I'm not 100% I'm not sure on that. So you're basically saying there's some that are going to hit that peak and never get back to it again, but be able to hang on long enough to make a couple teams. And there's going to be other people who – really are still standouts in college, but they have a progression that's more in line with other athletes in other events where they're great at 20, but then they're somehow able to go a level up to 24. And then maybe even by 25 and 26, they're, they're holding steady. That's what you're saying, kind of? Not really. I'm just saying there's the four by four guy, and the 400 guy. Right, but I'm saying that the 4x4 four four guy, four four guy is cr created because the 44-1 guy doesn't improve. And the 44-1 looks great when you're 19 or whatever, or 20 in college. But yeah. the 44-1, 44-2 isn't, isn't going to uh, get you gold medal. Basically, I mean, maybe I should say probably 44-5. Yeah. I, shouldn't, I shouldn't be saying 44-1. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Versus yeah, a... Another guy who goes 44-1 in college or even 43 high or something and then is able to keep ticking it down and ticking it down. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree with that. <clears throat>
And it's just like, we kind of are always infatuated by 400 meter runners because like you said, a lot of them start young, right? They make teams young. Like Will London yeah. made a team really young. And everyone's like, oh, Will London, is he the next Jeremy Warner from Baylor? You know, but Will London yeah. is now a four by four guy. He's a four by four guy. Yeah. Right. Michael Cherry right now is the one guy who's like on the edge because he's always been a four by four guy. But then yeah. this past year, he's been like straddling the fence, being like leaning, rocking back and forth between four by four guy and potential metal guy. Yeah. And I was at the end of the year, I was starting to lean like maybe he's a metal guy, you know, but uh, I think fourth at the, the Olympics right and I, I, I think fourth at the Olympics and Diamond League champ i think you're pointing in that direction but maybe he just yeah. stays in the middle maybe he's the third yeah, guy he's a, he's a new category he's the new cow maybe there's the there's the mcquay there's the merit and then there's the cherry i agree i think that's he forged yeah. his own yeah but like what do you do with someone cm it's mcm yeah. scale yeah are you a merit like, are you a cherry or are you a mcquay what's norman so norman we thought was a merit but yeah. more, Norman is now becoming a cherry. Norman's becoming a cherry. 43-45, has an all-time mark, the collegiate record, gets hurt in 19, and then in 2021, um, not sure what happened, but ends up get, getting fifth in the final. And just looks, after U.S. trials, just looked beatable. And even at trials, he didn't have that performance that we thought he would have I mean 44 low great time but and did enough to win but if you said after he ran that 43 45 what's Norman going to be clicking off I think you would have said he's going to be you know hitting a couple 43s every year yeah Norman's a cherry right now but because of his age I still think he has another shot at becoming a merit I'm, I'm not willing to give up on him he says another shot to become a merit but Right now, he's a cherry. Karani James like definitely created. a merit. Karani James definitely a, a merit, merit because literally competed against LeSean Merritt, getting medals. But that's the thing: the merits, the Karani Jameses, the Michael Johnsons, they're rare. The you know the Allison Felix, Sonia Richard Ross, like that's that's rare in the quarter. Oftentimes, you just no. see the people who we see them as great collegians, and then that's that's that. I want to talk about the eight real quick. 